What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit here today, checking out my Steam page. So we're gonna do something a bit different today. R Factor 2 here on the channel. So I got R Factor 2 because I love GT racing and racing in general. But today we're gonna do something different. We're gonna be drifting in R Factor 2. So R Factor 2 is a much more intense simulator when it comes to racing and f physics and tires and you know everything. You have you know a start. You have an ign you know ignition button. You have a starter button. So if you stall the car, you gotta restart it. So it's much more of an intense sim but we're gonna go drifting so i say we're gonna go drifting because in r factor 2 there's a couple drift mods in there that people have built in there and there are some nasty supras so we're gonna go drifting in r factor 2 today make sure you guys follow me on instagram and twitter all of you found in the description box below r factor 2 now when i say there's a couple drift cars so we have a toyota supra with three different uh liveries i believe this one's a v8 I believe this one's a turbo, which is the one we're going to be using. But we also have Daoshihara's car. But we are going to take out the Supra for today. And we're going to go to... We're going to get to this mountain forest track. I've never driven it. I downloaded it. Looks really technical and fun. So we're going to hit that track up. But to get our bearings straight a little bit here on R Factor 2 with drifting, we're going to go to a track that I know. We're going to go to Lime Rock. So Lime Rock Park is definitely... a an awesome track for drifting and Forza and stuff like that. So we're going to take the Super out to Lime Rock Park where I know how to drive it. Well, I know the track. So we're going to go hit the racetrack, R Factor 2, Lime Rock Park. Let's go for it. This should be interesting. Like I said, it's a very, it's a much more intense sim when it comes to racing. I know a lot of people do racing in R Factor 2 and I racing and stuff like that. Interface is a little weird. So we're going to go into race. Apparently we gotta start, yep. Auto start that car, just listen to that Supra. So we're gonna try not to stall it, and like I said, if we do stall it, so say we were to, or shut the ignition off, we can pop start the car, but if we were actually stall the car out completely, we would have to restart it with a button on our dash. All of this should be interesting. Headlights on, headlight flash, all right. We have a pit road speed that we're gonna try and uh, definitely not uh, speed through. Don't want a little penalty marker going through. This thing sounds insane. All right, Artifacts 2 Drift, let's go. Supra. Just, just chuck it in. Oh my, wheel feels super grippy on the front tires. You definitely feel the difference between grass, concrete, like right there. Oh my lord. Oh. We didn't stall the car though. You definitely feel the difference in grip levels between grass, the track, and these curves. And well, the game does have damage and mechanical failures and stuff like that, but we are just shredding this Supra right now. There we go. Ooh. Slowly getting a feel for it. Definitely different, but it feels really nice, surprisingly. It feels really good, very uh, very much kind of like a Seto when it comes to very grippy like VDC cars and stuff on those lines. Very grippy. The wheel almost kind of feels like a, a real car would feel, but... Like I said, it is more of an intense sim, so we're going to try and chuck this in here. Oh, it's getting skinny still. Traditional Lime Rock long entry, hard on the brakes. We managed to not go too far. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we're getting the hang of the feel of it here. Oh, this thing is actually really fun. Not gonna lie. Just picking up that front wheel, little three wheel action going on right now. Oh man. I'm having more fun on this than I thought I was going to. Oh, nope. it caught it. Oh, this car's definitely grippy. Sounds amazing too. 
push it from the third. We got it. We're good though. Oh my god. So, I don't know about you, this car sounds amazing, looks amazing. Oh, that was in the grass. A little backfire pop through there. Oh, the brakes are a little off. Did you get in the grass? Early skatey, save it. A little clutch gate to save it out. And now my front tires are very washy because there's grass and gravel on them. There we go. The left foot brake, control it there. We, yep, we're getting it. I definitely like how this super drives whoever built this mod for our vector too. Kudos to you, man. Oh yeah, we got this. We good. And I love how my dashboard tablet works. Everything with Sim Hub. Man, I think I flat spotted the rear tires from dragging that for so long. Oh, no. Don't stall. Whew. So, like, what I mean by stall. So, we killed the car. We have no throttle response. There we go. It's the little things. Like, that's just very entertaining to me to have to restart the car if you screw up or stall it. And if you pull the handbrake... Without uh, pushing the clutch, you might want to make sure you kick the throttle back in. But if you do, if you do shut off the car, got to shut the ignition off. You can always uh, clutch drop kick and pop the clutch to get it going. So let's go switch up tracks and go to that uh, mountain track and see what we can do there. All right, so let's switch up tracks. Definitely having kind of a lot of fun right now with this Supra here. So we're going to go switch up to that Mountain Forest track. Never been here. Don't know anything about this track. So this is uh, going in blind. So if you guys want to keep seeing our effect there too on the channel, make sure you tap that like button, subscribe if you do not already have the bell notifications. Tap the bell notification to be part of the notification gang. There we go. We got our engine started. Now my VR is supported, so we may actually do some VR content and drifting here in R Factor. See how that works. Speed was 37, so we're gonna cruise so we don't get a little indicator. The lights are red. Can I go? I'm just gonna go. Oh, there they go. Oh, I didn't want a little penalty arrow if I went through there. So, all right, here we go. First turn. Unsure of where I'm going. Ooh, that tightens up a lot. Watch kicks. We're still going. Oh boy. This turn looks a little bit more close. Narrow. I was wrong. Probably could have looked at the track map to get an idea, but. Going in blind. The super can definitely get it though. Oh, locked up the front. I felt that. Ah, oh, she downed it. I felt the front wheels lock up and kind of skate out on me, which is a feeling you don't normally get in like Forza Motors, Forza, anything like that. You get it a little bit in the Seto, but this the wheel feel here is definitely a. Uh, much more intense. Oh, that's a wall tap. Oh god. And the wheel force feedback is very strong. So that's definitely uh intense. I locked up the front there too. Clutch that out and forth. We can make that. Oh, this looks like a nice sweeper turn. Oh, I locked up the front. Oh, we got it! Oh my goodness. I did not think we were going to hold that. We're not going to hold that, though. Tunnel? Okay. Echo is so loud. 
Just listen to that. Listen to that Supra. And the uh, oh, ow. We're gonna get the next lap because kind of noticing the track, so I'm kind of trying to remember the turns. The next lap we'll be able to fully shred this track, hopefully. Okay, there we go. I kind of knew that one was looked like it was definitely going to tighten up. Oh, so close to Dragon Bumper. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh I have no traction. No. Traction whatsoever. Go on, get up, get up, get up. Oh, there we go. That super had no traction. But luckily, I remember to push for clutch in. We just saw the car. So that's a bonus for me. Alright, so let's see if we can't get a full banger lap here. Stop. Oh, backfire though. Without totally messing up, we're gonna try it. So for the first time out here in our factor, drifting, I don't think we're doing half bad. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think I could have done better or for a first time out here? I think we're doing pretty good. If you guys have ever drifted in our factor, let me also know down there because I'm very curious. Smoking. I'm sure we've melted these tires off. Oh, that was a little bit more of a wall hit. Kind of want to try and get this whole bank, this whole sweeper. Really long e brake drag. Oh, I thought I could just raise the bumper, but that. that that one kind of brought us in. Oh, that tightened up way more than I thought. Forgot that tightened up the way it did. Somehow managed to save it. Whew. So, our factor two meant for racing, but we're, we're out here oh, in a Drift Supra. Definitely shredding this track and this car. Oh, so make sure you guys follow me on all social media. Make sure you guys tap that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. We appreciate all the support. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. R Factor 2 drifting in a really nasty sounding Turbo Supra. Oh, so as always, like, thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. See you guys on the track. Yeah.